Welcome to tonight's broadcast of the Bushland Falcon Media JV football game against the West Plains Wolves at West Plains. We've got about a minute 45 o'clock time left here in the freshman game, and so we'll uh, mute this and uh, we'll, we'll come back as this game wraps up and JV gets ready to take the field.
All right, here we go. Looks like coin flip just went down. We'll get into the first quarter here in just a moment. Little different broadcasting on a Thursday night here. Hopefully our buddy Alex up in Denver is doing well today and going to get to enjoy some football with the, of his buddies. Here at West Plains High School tonight, they have a beautiful field here as their, I guess, quote unquote, practice field and sub varsity field. They get to play their Friday night games at Happy State Bank Field there in Canyon, where we scrimmaged our first uh, scrimmage this year. a little different broadcast than a Friday night. This will be a little more conversational. Obviously, don't have Chris here with me, but um, just want to keep you up to speed on who everybody is. Obviously, first game of the season. Everybody's still learning numbers here. Looks like Falcons will be receiving. Back, you'll have Kel Conklin and Jenner King. Looks like the up back is going to be Tommy Merriman. Parker Lyles. Get you to the front line here later. Play four 10 minute quarters here tonight. As West Plains gets ready to put a boot in this and we'll get started. Ball's gonna be deep. Kel let it go right over his head and that'll be a touchback. Nice kick. Not often do you see JV kickers kicking touchbacks on the fly. West Plains has one. As you know, Ty Tarango, who was part of this sophomore class that last year with the injury to Weston Forbes, got called up to varsity to kick for them. He'll stay right there. So have a feeling Bryson Jimenez will handle the kicking duties for us this year. Good to see Quade Ferris back at quarterback. For those that don't remember, he tore his ACL in the scrimmage last year. and He'll get things started. Swings it out to Jenner King, who makes a nice little move down the sideline for the first down. Looks like about a 15-yard gain there. I'm doing my best on camera work. I'm used to having a camera guy. I get to do it all tonight. First and 10 Falcons, 40-yard line. Quaid drops back to pass again. Oh, just a little wide out here in the flat to Kale Conklin. Make it second down and 10. Back to the line quick. As you know, Falcons don't waste any time. Hand off. Kale makes a little move. Gets back to the line of scrimmage, but we'll set up third down and 10. After the quick 15 yard gain on first down, Falcons facing a third and 10 here. They hand it off again, not the play call I would have expected here. Wow, third and 10. See what we do here on fourth down. Got a lot of options with this JV defense because this defense is as good as they come.
Only about a minute ten into the game here. Yeah, it looks like Falcons are going to line up and go. Not shocking. Beautiful out. Nice catch for the first down. Good job of Jenner King running the route past the sticks. Made sure he got, got about a 12 yards, dug back, made sure he got down past the first down marker. Great little throw there by Quaid. So first down and 10 at the 50 yard line. Swing it out here. Ooh, Wing kind of took that one. No blocking. That'll go backwards as the swing pass out here to Gabe Hahn. Gabe's got some speed if you can get him in space, but he'll lose about three and a half on that one. Sets up second down and 13. A lot of shifting. Move Brock Tobler across the formation. He's inside. Jenner's outside on the far side. Gabe Hodden down here closest to us. You got Bryson and Kale on the backfield. Wade Ferris takes a snap. Nice run there by Kale before he gets stood up. Be about a four yard gain. Set up third down and nine. Quick back to the line again. Ooh, looks like we're gonna get a free play here. Great hard count there by Quaid. He's gonna take a chance, and Jenner's gonna make a great play at about the 10 yard line. Good job adjusting in the air. Jenner likes those 50-50 balls. He's gonna find it. Quaid driving that ball about 40 yards down the field sets us up first down and goal what's the call here play stop oh looks like they're gonna stop the play because the sticks were wrong first full game of the year everybody working out the kinks falcons first down and goal from the 10. See if we go hand. Oh, Quaid has to pick that thing up. Makes up the most out of a fumbled snap. It turns that thing into a five yard gain. Gonna be second down and goal from the five. Now, if you watched this team last year, Quaid missed the season after tearing his ACL on a scrimmage. So good to see him back. Oh, my goodness, the snaps through his legs. Just get on the ball, Quaid. Man, they're going to go backwards. Thought they called him down. One official pointed at the ground like it was spotted and down. West Plains claiming they have it. I think they called Quaid down before they landed on him and the ball squirted out. So this is going to stay Falcon way. It looked pretty clear at, at initially that when Quaid slid down that he had possession. No. Nope. Guess they disagreed. Interesting call there. So it's going to set up West Plains first down and 10 at the 25. Get to see this Falcon defense for the first time tonight. Gonna come stacked formation down here, to the left side of the line. Nice play there, Parker Laws gets some help. That's a, that's a big story, yeah. I'm gonna back him up. Holding there in the middle. Oh, West Plains player is going to come limping off. Never like to see that. Hopefully it's just a stinger and he'll get back out there. So Falcon setting up. Got that 
Base formation defense stacked in. Once the plane's going to go to the pistol. They like to throw these little quick outs out of this pistol formation. Oh, golly. Just a... Oh, my goodness. I wasn't working the camera. Sorry, y'all. Just undisciplined. D-line. Not watching the ball. Listening to the voice. Oh, maybe they were watching. I have to give them... I apologize, fellas. That was a false start. They clearly jumped, but something drew them off sides. Oh, ball's on the ground? No, just the 14 looked down at the ground. I thought he was looking for the ball, but... Once again, great penetration by the Falcon defense. Has now they West Plains took this ball over at the 25-yard line. They are now at their own eight. So that's a second down and, what is that, 27? Oh, Parker missed that. He's got to make that play. We got to get that tackle. They're going to have a face mask and more. West Plains. Gabe Hahn's going to track him down. Live to play another day. I apologize, y'all. I am not the camera guy that is very good at this. Massive play there by West Plains. Just a great move by the receiver. Made made the defender miss. Ends up being a 67-yard gain. Gabe Hahn did a great job of chasing that play down, making the tackle, letting the defense live to fight another day. Oh, I, say, I thought there was a face mask. They never marked it off, so it's going to go all the way down to the 20. Yeah, I promise it'll, it may take me a little bit, but I'm going to get this camera work down. Makes you grateful for Logan Robinson on Friday nights. Does a great job working the cameras for us. Right now he's out there on the field. After a false start, first down and 15. Oh, a great play by Bryson Jimenez coming in off that weak side. Second down and 16. Good tackle there in pursuit by Brock Fisk. Looked like West Plains had blockers there, but Brock comes over from that nose guard position and gets out, limits that to a two yard gain. Sets up third down and 14. Plane's back in the pistol. Oh, Parker, you got to stay in there. They stretch it out all right. Ends up only being about a five, six yard gain. Going to set up fourth down and seven. Got to watch the ball. They're going to go hard count here. Try to get a free play. Falcons do a good job staying home. Fourth down and seven. Oh, 
Oh, oh, there's a play in the middle. Great catch down inside the red zone. Defender was there. It looked like he tried to punch the ball, but West Plains did a good job of going up and high pointing that ball. Just some. And then West Plains will punch it in and take an early 6 0 lead. Falcon just with some undisciplined mistakes on that drive cost them. West Plains converting them big fourth down and seven. And that kick is up and good, and just like that, West Plains with 3.25 left to go in the first quarter has taken a 7-0 lead on the Falcons. Falcons had their opportunities to get off the field and just could not make the play. West Plains will line up, kick this thing off again. Last time they kicked off, went for a touchback through the end zone. Kicker has a fantastic leg. Oh, and they're going to squib this one. Ball bounces, taking on one hop. Up to the 35. That's where the Falcons will set up their offense for their second drive after looking fantastic on the first drive until a snap just went straight through Quade's legs. Ball never got about three inches off the ground. Looked like he was on it. Officials decided it was still a live ball. Called it for a turnover there. And West Plains went to work from there. Set up on their own 25, actually got backed up inside their own 10, but an impressive performance there to overcome a second down and 27, overcame a fourth down and seven, and converted the drive for a touchdown. Ball's out again. This time Bryson gets on it. Big loss on first down. Falcons put the ball on the turf again. Second down and almost 20. Setting up the screen back the other way. Does not get the block. And that's going to go backwards. Max just did not get out fast enough to kick that block. West Plains did a good job of reading it. Sets up third down and a country mile, as Chris Welch would like to say. 22 yards. It's exciting to be football season again. It's good to hear. Some terms I don't hear most of the year. Quay keeps the play alive. It gets it out to Jenner, who makes a fantastic catch. 27-yard gain up to the 50-yard line. Another big conversion where Quay kept the play alive. Threw it up. Gave Jenner a chance. First to sling the ball down here to Gabe again here in a moment. 
Nice power run up the middle. First down, gain of three. Got Connor Caperton, Brock Tobler, Bryson Jimenez down near us. Looks like Tommy Merriman in the backfield. Jenner up top. Tommy does a good job. Go oh, protect him. Backside pressure drops Quaid for about a eight-yard loss. Quaid did a good job of holding on to the ball there. That backside pressure. That defender comes over the top. That's you got to have a good grip on that ball. Quaid did a good job. So here we go. Third down and eighteen. Pressure coming up the middle. Quaid finds his receiver up the middle. That's Audie up the middle. Running the seam route. Quaid did a good job. Took a big pop. West Plains had great pressure on the play. Honestly, thought they were going to get there before he could get it off. Everybody set. Quaid with the hard count and Connor false starts. Going to set up first down and 15. Nice catch down the seam by Audi there. Jenner back on the field now. Going to go twins to each side. You got Tober and Caperton down near us. Bryson and Jenner up top. Looks like Evan Rodriguez in the backfield. Yep, handoff will go to Evan. No, goes nowhere on the play. We'll set up third down and 15. Kale Conklin back. Evan will get a breather. This 3-4 front's giving the Falcons quite a bit of trouble up front. Quaid rolls out. No flag on the play. Wow. Quaid rolls out, throws the ball to Jenner. Defender runs right through him as he's trying to make a play in the end zone. No flag on the play. will set up fourth down. As the first quarter expired, we will switch sides and we'll hear from a quick sponsor real fast while we do that. Procrete Construction is a regional concrete place and finish company designed from the ground up to give you solid professional. Ah. Procrete Construction is a regional concrete place and finish company designed from the ground up to give you solid professional service. Based in Amarillo, Procrete serves residential, commercial, and industrial construction industries. High standards of professionalism and quality are our benchmarks. We know your construction project requires a company that is equipped with the tools, knowledge, and experience to complete the work as promised with a focus on details. Call 806-318-3820 or go online to learn more about Procrete Construction at ProcreteNow.com. All right, we're back here. Sorry, I still had us on warm-ups. Going to the second quarter. Telling you, first game, we're all working out some rust here. Got to hear from Procrete there while we have a quick break. Want to give a couple thanks to a couple sponsors that uh, when I told them we wanted to broadcast some Thursday night games so Alex could watch them there in Denver, they were all in to help. And uh, Larry Marquez and his team at Procrete Construction. Dr. Chad Pearson and his crew over at Lovett Chiropractic. I'll tell you, man, Lovett is amazing for our family um, and has done amazing work with Parker and shin splints, man. If you ever have an athlete that struggles with shin splints, I'm, first time we've really found it, I'm going to tell you, Dr. Chad's where to be. Falcons snap here. Quaid stands in, finds Bryson. Oh, they're going to call a hold. Golly. This one's going to come back. 
There was a hold there in the middle. Quay did a good job standing in there. Great route there by Bryson, but. Could have been fourth down. Looks like they're gonna take the yards instead. Sets us up at third and 25. Side pressure there. Going to be a big, big loss for the Falcons. Going to set up fourth down and 35. I think we'll see the punt team come on. Man, another promising drive. Doomed by just Falcons shooting themselves in the foot here. Bryson Jimenez on to punt. Snap, bounces back. Bryson does a good job getting possession of it. Nice angle kick. Stay out of the end zone. It does not. And that'll go for a touchback. Thought for a moment, maybe Kel could get down there, but just couldn't quite get there. Falcon defense needs to come out and get one of its patented stops here. Right, snaps back. Oh, and they're Strickland doing a great job filling the hole. West Plains had that thing set up well. Great blocking by the offensive line. It just set up a one on one. And you know, I was talking in the box before the game with Coach Cogburn. Man, Colton Strickland is one heck of a mic, and he doesn't miss many tackles. And that was a perfect example of it. Nice little three yard game. Sets up second down and seven. Quarterback back, and it's intercepted, and it's going to go to the house. Gabe Hahn with the pick six. Parker, Parker got pressure on the quarterback, forced that throw. Gabe just cut right in front of the defender, and that's the Falcon defense we're accustomed to. Defense gets this game an extra point away from being tied up. Hey, when Gabe gets the ball in open space, it does not take him long to get into the end zone. Who is this kicking here? It's not Bryson. Trying to see the number. It's a lefty. Nice kick. Kicks up. Kicks good. And just like that, the Falcons have tied it at seven. And I have no clue who kicked the extra point. 63 is a number I do not recognize. Means it may be a freshman called up. I'm not real sure. As we talked at the beginning of the broadcast, our this class's regular kicker, Ty Tarango, is up at varsity. Um, one of two of them. And to be honest, it could be a little bit of the uh, lineman issues we're seeing um, on these first couple drives because just this past week, uh, Jayton Fetch got called up to varsity. Um, so he and Ty Tarango will both be playing tomorrow night on Friday night. But obviously with Fetch, having, with Fetch getting called up, a new face has to step in. And so just got to work out the kinks. It's one of the joys of under sub varsity sports is that when those young men get the opportunity to move up and play on Friday nights, which let's be honest, that's everyone's goal. Just means the next guy's to step up and a little bit of a little bit of work to be done on the cohesive side. As that I think that move happened on Monday with Fetch and so excited for him. But I think you'll see that offensive line and defensive line just continue to work out some of those kinks that, you know, plagued us a little bit here. 
The Falcons line up for their first kickoff of the day. Ball is kind of pooched up. It's going to take a bounce, a high bounce. Gives coverage time, a little bit of time to get out. Good job stretching it out. As soon as they get off the pile, oh, Parker came up and got it. First contact there was, who was that? Trying to catch their numbers as they're running back. Oh, Caleb Crutcher. Crutcher made first contact and Parker came in, cleaned it up. So it'll be first down West Plains at the 32. They're going to bring everybody in tight. Looks like it's probably going to be an offsides. They're not going to want it, though, because they're going to keep going. Jenner ends up having to make a tackle about 30, 25 yards downfield. Sides are happening right in the middle of the line. Not something you'd expect there. Everybody can watch the ball at that point. Nice play there. Bryson Jimenez compressing down. Holds that to maybe a one yard gain. Let's see where they mark it. Yep. We'll give them a yard. Second down and nine. Everybody in tight again. Expect some power football. They're going to pull it. Bryson, man, the quarterback does a great job of making him miss. Bryson had him dead to rights about seven yards in the backfield. He does a great job. Slings it out. Gets it back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe gains a yard. So we're going to call this third down and eight. Ball in motion. They're going to bring it across at the jet sweep. It's going to be blocked well. Golly, just cannot get contained. They have numbers. It's requiring the safety to come up and feel. Another long third down conversion. Really thought we were going to get a hold down here. Didn't. What a block by 58. Run's going to go for about a yard, maybe two. We'll call it second down and eight. Ball's going to come across. Oh, what a play from Kale Conklin shooting the a gap there makes a play for a big loss in the backfield not as big a loss as it looked officials will spot that all the way up at the 14 yard line so it's going to set up third down and 13. i'll tell you west plains had that thing blocked out in front to that left side of the um, offensive line, man, they are big and they are moving. If I can shift back. Get a timeout here with 5.30 to go before half. Game tied at 7. Third down and 13. West Plains in the midst of another impressive drive.
tell you what makes this even more impressive is just like the Falcons having a couple guys that already caught up to varsity, West Plains has a couple guys from their sophomore class that not already caught up this year, played key minutes in last year's varsity run that, you know, started with the Falcons at Happy State Bank and didn't take long for them to find their rhythm. If I believe, if I remember right, they won seven games last year, a couple rounds deep in the playoffs. And so a lot of talent over here at West Plains. Make sure you make plans to come out tomorrow night to Falcon Stadium. That's going to be a heck of a ball game. Falcons roll it out. Ball skips in. Jenner had good coverage down here. It's going to be fourth down. I'll tell you, West Plains has a phenomenal kicker. I wonder if they kick here. No, they're going to run the quarterback back out. I'll be honest, I wouldn't. If I'm not mistaken, I believe Burjeski calls plays for the West Plains offense and not shocked that he's going to. He's looking for seven and not three. Not only is he a great football coach, heck of a track coach. Oh, and that ball, the Falcons did what they had to do. They bend it, they bent, but did not break. Ball's going to turn over on downs, and with 5.20 to go before half, the Falcons are going to take over first down and 10 at their own 15. Oh, 14, sorry. Good stop. See if Quaid can march this crew down, punch this in before halftime, and take a lead into half. So we're going twins each side. Got Jenner and Bryson down to us. I didn't catch who was up top, but golly, Falcons. Put the ball on the ground again. That's the third time that ball's been on the ground as Zane Zundel met contact in the hole and ball hit the turf. I said, luckily, Zane heads up play, gets back on the ball, sets up second down and 12. Same formation, twin C side. Bryson meets contact, shugs the first one off. West Plains rallies to the ball. Great team defense there. Five-yard gain there. Sets up third down and eight. Caperton up top. I haven't seen who's in the slot. Somebody that, oh my goodness, we have to hit that block there. 20 is Brock Tobler. Miss, another miss block. Just not executing cleanly here. And these Falcons stall out. Great job on defense getting the stop, but only gain about five yards on offense. And Bryson comes back out to punt the ball. And Falcons take a timeout before that snap. 3.35 to go before halftime. West Plains going to get the ball back with an opportunity to punch this thing in before the half. We started talking a little bit about last night a minute ago, or tomorrow night a minute ago. West Plains will be coming into Bushland looking for revenge on what was a 62-6 to Falcon win last year. The Falcons were clicking on all cylinders early. Obviously, that was West Plains' first game in school history. Um, and, man, they took the lessons they learned that, last, that first night and turned it into a heck of a season. And so... Look for a much different ball game tomorrow night. It's going to be two 
champion teams going toe to toe. We get Kel Conklin running on just a little bit late. All 11 guys in the formation. Snap back, bounces again. Bryson picks it up. Line drive punt right at the returner. Makes a great move. Steps out of a couple tackles. Come on, Falcons. We got to wrap up. A lot of arm tackles. And man, West Plains phenomenal field position after a very nice punt return. It's going to set them up first down and 10 at the third. Falcons 30. 324 to go till halftime. 7-7. Seven, seven. Again, I want to thank our first half sponsor here, Lubbock Chiropractic. Nice tackle there. Just gang tackle. Colton Strickling hitting the hole first to be there. Bryson Jimenez right behind him. Second down and 11. Screen. Oh! Green was set up nicely. Colton Strickland came in, separated the running back from the ball. Sets up third down and 11. Clock stops. Falcons get a good stop here. They'll get the offense back out here one more time at least. One more time. What they back it up for here? It's still second down there. I didn't see the call. So we'll stay second down. Shocked we didn't go third and 11. As potent as this West Plains offense is, you don't really want to give them an extra down. Oh, the ball's on the ground. A great job there by Max Snee getting in, getting his big old paw on the running on the ball as the running back. West Plains recovers it, but not before losing 12, uh, 11 yards on the play. Sets up third down and 22. Oh, Parker, get there. Parker. Good defensive play there as Parker Lyles gets to the quarterback. It disrupts that pass, comes up a little short. It's going to be fourth down. I'd expect West Plains to punt this, um, pin the Falcons back and force them to go the length of the field, which hasn't looked like something that they, we've been doing consistently, but they're going to stay in. Let's see if they pooch punt this. Wouldn't shock me. Hold on a second. They broke formation with 12 guys. They let them play on. Nice ball. <laughs> Jenner King. Tells the receiver he was on lockdown. Good defense. It's a battle to watch, man. Ken's got some good size. What well, the best part of that is it set the Falcons up first down and ten at their own forty-two. Fourth down and twenty-two. West Plains went for it. Electing not to pin in the Falcons back, which means they trust their defense. So with 2.17 to go before halftime, Falcons need to go 58 yards to take the lead. Oh, they're going to run a reverse. They're going to throw it back to Quaid. He's got, oh, he's got the man. Brock Tober catch the ball. Hold on to it, Brock. There he is inside the red zone down to the 12. What a beautiful play call. I don't see a flag, but they are talking. Are they going to say two forward? They're going to say an illegal forward pass.
The worst part is I do not believe they were wrong. West Plains did a good job with penetration, forcing that reverse a little deeper than it wanted to be. Made that about a one yard forward pass over to Quaid. Thought we'd gotten away with it because they had not thrown a flag. I say, where are they going? It's only a five yard penalty. Going to the 36. So now we'll be first down and 15. Great play call. Just a little miss on the execution. Hand off to Bryson. Looks like we're probably going to get a hold in the backfield there in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 65 reached out and grabbed him, pulled him to his defender to the ground. They'll back him up again. First and 15 now becomes second and 25. Just, man. Time after time, just shooting themselves in the foot here in the first half. Clock sits at 1.57. Still first down, but first down in a country mile, as Chris Welch would like to say. We're going to go trips down to us. Jenner, Logan Robinson, Bryson. Going to go up top on the other side. He's got Gabe Hahn. If Gabe can get there, and he just cannot. Sorry, I forgot that I was the camera guy. I missed the call. Probably another hold. Shocked they're taking this. First and 25. West Plains wants the ball back with some time on the clock. Paul goes all the way back now to the 10-yard line. <laughs> Unsportsmanlike. Came from the sidelines. Had to be the coaching staff. Coach Holt still letting him hear about it. I don't know that the flag was on Holt. I'm not pinning that on him, but he is letting him know that he did not like that call either. Not sure you can expect much different. Can't wear these guys out too much, man. Hand off up the middle. Looks like Kale Conklin. Force the use of a timeout. Three yard gain. Doesn't really make a dent in second down and 40 now. I'll tell you, I get the frustration of the coaching staff. Flag disparity has been heavy on the Falcons, but especially in some key moments. But the reality is, is a lot of these calls have been the right calls. I mean, here's the good news. Falcons may have played, for this sophomore class, this may be one of the worst, first, worst halves of football I've ever seen them play. I'm pretty comfortable saying that because I got the privilege of being part of the group that coached them all the way since third grade, and this is a quality, but just a rough half. Obviously, it's week one. Um, just had a call up from the middle of the offensive line and defensive line to varsity, so just some new changes. And I'll tell you, it's still a 7-7 ball game, and so got to like where you stand. And West Plains just used their third and final timeout because I know they used one in the first quarter. So we're going to set up third down at the 15. Third down and 36. Minute 28 to go. Would expect the Falcons, knowing that West Plains just used their final timeout, will run this ball one more time, try to milk some time off the clock. 
leave them as little time as possible. Try to get to halftime seven seven and fix some of the fix some of the mess that we've seen. Come back out. Kel Conklin in the backfield is gonna get with Bryson Jimenez. So you have two backs. Twins up top, single down low. Hand off to Bryson, who breaks it. one tackle. Down at the 30. So we'll set set the clock at 119 and ticking. I have a feeling the Falcons will take this all the way down as far as they can. Take a timeout. Should get this thing almost down to 45 seconds. Clock ticks under 50. Oh, 49.7. Oh, no. Kept going. Had a hometown clock guy in here. <laughs> in the box tonight with Coach Hooker and uh, Coach Cogburn. Canyon ISD, always great hosts. Man, they have phenomenal facilities and um, a lot of props to CISD voters. Man, they have continued to invest in their students and their student athletes. And Toby Tucker and that crew has done an amazing job. Just, you know, obviously this being West Plains' second year just you, you'll walk around this campus amazing facilities and you're seeing the football field tonight baseball softball back behind us just um hadn't been in the high school but i can tell you from a couple of our friends that are going to school over here it, it it's not bad i hear lunches are a lot better at west plains than they are at bushland high school so here we go 41.6 seconds left Bryson back would love to see a snap get cleanly to him. We bounced the last two punt long deep snaps back and we bounced this one. Luckily, line does a good job. Not a great punt. Wish that would have stayed in bounds a little bit longer, but it'll go out of bounds with 34 seconds left on the clock. West Plains, no timeouts. Going to be first down and 10 at the Falcon 48. Defense needs to stop here. Let's get into halftime. 7-7. Seven, seven. An opportunity to fix some of these mistakes. Talk through them. Made, making some changes here. We've seen this a lot, which is kind of... Man, they brought Parker down here. So, probably going to be brought Kobler up top at the wheel. Parker and the Sam. And that goes nowhere. Great stop by our defense. They'll hold him up. What'd they call there? They must have blown the whistle. And if they did, that's a dumb penalty. You just can't make that mistake. Because you've got him stood up. Let, just let the play play out and let the clock tick. Golly. A personal foul gives them 15 seconds, stops the clock. Now, 15 yards, not 15 seconds, gives them 15 yards, stops the clock. Now they wind it. Good pressure there. Great job by Wade McConnell and Parker Lyles getting to the quarterback. Force, I mean, he just threw that thing up, got rid of it. Great play by the quarterback. Here, here's why you throw that thing up and get rid of it. Now clock stopped on an incomplete pass. You got another play. He takes that ball to the ground. and Oh, my goodness. Hey, 
Another another offsides by the Falcons. Put them five yards closer. 16 seconds to go. Are you kidding me? This time it's a false start. Okay. I about to, it looked like 66 may have stood up a little early and drew him off, but Falcons got to watch the ball. So we traded five yard penalties. 12 seconds to go inside the half. Any level other than high school, they'd be running the clock off. Another false start. I, I, I. All right, after marching back and forth five yards at a time, I'm still trying to figure out. They called a false start originally, and but they moved it up five. I guess we moved. Sixteen seconds to go. Ball's going to fall incomplete. So after all that, we're at third down and five, seven seconds to go before half. <laughs> oh, fumble! No, it's not a fumble. Should have been an incomplete pass. Because I don't think he ever had possession of it. And they will wind the clock down to halftime. We'll take that clock run because that incomplete pass should have given them another play. But lucky for us, we will get to halftime tied at seven. An opportunity to regroup as your Falcons will receive the ball first here in the second half. And we'll see Coach Mong and Coach Pearson can clean up just a few of the mistakes here. A lot of penalties some just... Missed things. First game. Let's be honest. This is first game jitters. Just normal stuff that you you feel like, man, if we iron this thing out, Falcons in great position here to come out here and do what they do and get another win here. Cogburn, good to see you, sir. Yeah, you too. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have a good one. I'd say come enjoy some AC tomorrow night, but we don't have AC. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be on the road somewhere. <laughs> See Construction is a regional concrete place and finish company designed from the ground up to give you solid professional service. Based in Amarillo, Procrete serves residential, commercial, and industrial construction industries. High standards of professionalism and quality are our benchmarks. We know your construction project requires a company that is equipped with the tools, knowledge, and experience to complete the work as promised with a focus on details. Call 806-318-3820 or go online to learn more about Procrete Construction at ProcreteNow.com.
All right, we're back. Ready for the second half as the Falcons will receive the ball. If you were here through the first half, some first game jitters, maybe a little. Oh, I just put second quarter. We're going to the third quarter. See, I'm, I'm having a rough. Hey, we played about like my camera work is the problem. And so we'll all get it together here in the second half. I think it's a little first game jitters. Obviously, the line dealing, you know, like we said, I, I said earlier, if you're if you're new here, congratulations to Jaden Fetch. Got called up. Oh, Falcons are not receiving. We're kicking. That's right. Um, I forgot we received. We didn't. We turned the ball over on our first drive. Freshman bus just pulled out. Congratulations to the freshman getting a 28-14 win here right before JV played. And so, Falcon defense get a chance to come out and make a statement here first. With this class, that's something they like to do. Got Tobler, Hahn, Logan Robinson. Let's see if I can get you the rest of the numbers. Brand that's not, yeah, Hunter Mary. Brandstat, Tommy Merriman. Who ball bounces? That's a risky bounce. West Plains does a good job getting on it. Sorry, once again. Uh, as Gabe Hahn came sprinting down, but that'll set up the Wolves. First down and 10 at the 40 yard line. Here we go. Backside pursuit. Nice play there. That 22 Peyton Vaquero. 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 See, this is why Chris and I go through and pronounce names ahead of time. But Peyton makes a great tackle there. Closes that out. Limits that to a two yard gain. Second down and eight. Oh. Both! Parker causes a fumble! Falcons are on it! Good job, Parker Lyles. Just when I was about to get on him for tackling high, he punches the ball out and Makes everything all right. So here we come. Falcons in great shape. 35, 36 seconds into the second half here as the offense comes out. Man, West Plains, phenomenal pursuit. Backs Bryson up about four yards. Just Right up the middle on us. I tell you, they had it set up out there on the left. Just see if we don't get back to slinging the ball around a little bit. Oh my goodness. Great defensive play by number 10. Watch the quarterback's eyes the whole way. As soon as Quaid tried to dump that off in the flat to Bryson, he was there in the air. So third down and 14. Need to convert after the turnover here. Nice throw, nice route. Beautiful catch by Brock Tobler. He's going to set up fourth down and three after the 10 yard gain. Obviously, Falcons going to trust the offense here. Wouldn't be shocked to not see quarterback power. Though, with 
Quaid coming off the ACL. Maybe you maybe wait a couple weeks before you start going to quarterback power. This is a place you tend to see it called with the Falcon offense. Yep, quarterback power. And he's going to get close. If it's spotted by the closest spotter, it's a first down. If it's by the far spotter, see which official spots it. First down. Great job there by Quaid. Kept his feet. Got a little push there by Conklin, who came and helped move that pile forward. Quarterback power turns into a first down. Nice cut back by Conklin. Nice little spin. A hard four yards there in the middle. Sets up second down and six. Falcons now rolling. Now they'll go fast. Not as fast as I expected. Nice route by Jenner, five yard gain, sets up third down and one. Great route, planted that foot, came right back to the ball. Quaid had it on him as soon as he turned around. Quarterback power for first down again. Yep. And there it is. This is when you know the Falcon offense is clicking. When you can get into third and fourth and short and run quarterback power, you really like your odds. And it becomes a numbers game there because your running back gets to take on that linebacker who typically is filling the hole. Power football now inside the red zone. First down, 10 inside the 15. A little screen out to Bryson. Makes the first man. Kind of made him miss, but nine did a good job of hanging on. Bryson carries him for five yards. Just a strong run there. After the catch. Still trips, single up top. Let's see if they go one on one with Jenner. Yep. Jenner catches it out. Mm, gets the first down inside the five. Forced out of bounds at about the four. First and goal, Falcons. Starting to see it come together here. Took the turnover, marched it down. Now I need to convert this into a touchdown. Kale squeezed this through the middle. Nice, strong run. Going to get a touchdown. Kale Conklin puts the Falcons on top. Their first lead of the day, 13-7. Malden much happier with that. So with 6.01 to go here in the third quarter. Snap back, kick up, kick good, no good. Wide right. So the score will be 13-7. You hope that extra point doesn't come back to get you. Little things, little things, but second half started much better than the first ended. Defense comes out, gets the turnover. Parker, Parker forces that fumble on the quarterback. Falcons recover, then convert a fourth down and three with quarterback power. Convert another third down and one short yardage with quarterback power. Quaid up the middle. The fourth down and three was, was the impressive one. It kind of, it, not only did it extend the drive, which is just natural on a fourth down, but he was hit at the line of scrimmage and just kept his feet, allowed Kel to come up and move that pile, used his height, stretched that ball out, and I'm gonna tell you, he had it by about three inches. And so, um, good fourth down conversion leads to a Falcon touchdown, miss point after 13-7 here. You know, they kind of pooched it the first time, not giving West Plains any opportunity. There's a lot of speed over here. They're, they don't want to let them bust one. They trust their defense and see if they just kind of stick with that. Wouldn't shock me if they don't try to drop this thing on about the 35-yard line right here in the middle since they vacated it. 
35. Got a little wide. Oh, balls on the ground. Falcons have it. Beautiful job by the Falcons. Gabe Hahn jumps on the muff kick. West Plains up man fields the ball. Couldn't really tell if it was contact that caused it. You didn't get to see it because I didn't move the camera. Sorry. See, I got excited in these plays and I forget to do my job. Thank you to Legacy Print Shop, our second half sponsor tonight. Thank you to Lovett Chiropractor, sponsored the first half. Larry Marquez, Pro Creek Construction. Line does its job. Jitter King adjusts to the ball in the air. Touchdown, Falcons. No, they're going to mark him out. I just lied. What a connection down at the... Half yard line? Now he backed it up to the one. Okay. Beautiful connection there as the Falcons look to strike fast after the turnover. Down to the one. Quade to Jenner. You're going to hear that connection an awful lot this year. We're going to go quarterback power almost guaranteed here. Quade will lower his shoulder. Going to the left. And touchdown. Falcons, what a way to start the second half. We are four minutes and 24 seconds into the second half. Two turnovers, two touchdowns. Waiting on the kicker. Maybe. He's down talking. And the Falcons have to burn a timeout because their kicker isn't on the field. Down on the sideline, down here on the opposite 40-yard line, talking. You feel a little better that it's 19-7. Happened to burn that timeout, but never want to burn a timeout in the second half on a play like that. Snap back, kick up. Kick good. And just like that, the Falcons are up 20 to seven. Great start to the second half. Oh, I have a second, let me, uh, something you probably saw on the screen earlier um, during halftime. Uh, we have announced it on our uh, season preview show earlier today. The Bushland Falcon Media Jimmy Thomas Memorial Scholarship that this will be the inaugural year of it. Obviously, Coach Thomas means an awful lot to not just the Bushland community and the Bushland program, but to Chris Welch and I. And so when we got together um, kind of this at the beginning of summer and really began to think about fall, we knew that one of the things, I guess it was May actually, I called Chris and said, Chris, I feel like this is something we should do. And he's like, I'm all in. Um, for those that know, uh, Coach Thomas shared the press box with us. Um, our last, that last playoff game against, that we had in Lubbock against Jim Ned. Um, his, his last Friday night um, before his passing, we shared a press box with him and just had a great um, time. And so just an awesome opportunity for us to honor him and also at the same time celebrate one of our student athletes. And so We'll, we'll release more information as time goes, but obviously it will be an athletic scholarship, but not just about sports. You know, Coach Thomas was a, about faith and family, 
um, community serving and so all characteristics that will go into that scholarship and so oh, this time West Plains calls a fair catch looks like I got a legacy logo up twice see if I can get it off one of these there we go so with 536 to go here in the third quarter the Falcon defense comes back out Coming off two straight turnovers. Ball will float out incomplete, wide left of the receiver. Some pressure on the quarterback forces the throw. Looked like a little miscommunication between the receiver and the quarterback. Because I'll tell you, the receiver had his man beat. Luckily, the pass just ended up wide. Going to run the jet sweep. Oh, great penetration. Tackle wasn't made, but it slowed it down, forced it back into the middle. Well, the rest of the defense was there to... Pick it up. Great penetration by Brock Fisk, man. In the backfield. Forces third down and 10. Let's see if I can center up the screen a little bit. Sorry. Oh, ball's on the ground. Quarterback beats Parker Laws to the ball, but not before they lose. About 15 yards, that's a fourth down and 25. It looks like they're going to stay with the offense. Zane will drop back about 20 yards, play it safe. Maybe just looking to see if they got an offside. They did. That's They were just trying to see what they had there. West Plains will take their first time out. So with 4.29 to go in the third quarter, both teams have used their first time out. Beautiful night for football here at West Plains and their incredible facilities here. Hopefully our boy Alex is getting to listen in. You know, we typically, I know we said at the beginning, we don't typically broadcast JV games, but um, with our buddy Alex Carroll's heading to Denver this week for some rehab and therapy. Um, message with his mom last night they are in a fantastic place she said it's everything they were told they were, um, that it would be and so excited that you know we're a week closer to Alex coming home and being back out here with us but as long as he's there we will do our best to bring you every JV game so that he can watch them and so hopefully a few other maybe family members that can't be here or you know even Grandparents that don't want to battle the heat, because let's be honest, it is warm right now. What a punt, man. Sends Jenner back. Jenner, get away from the ball. He does wisely. Beautiful punt. Going to pin the Falcons back inside their own 20-yard line. After a 52-yard punt in the air. Hey, West Plains skill position, guys. They're kicker and punter. They've got some good special teams going on over here. The conversation back behind the play. Offsides. I have a feeling West Plains turns that down. I mean, five yards doesn't do you much good off of a 52-yard kick. And they will. They added it to the end of the kick. 
even better. You got the penalty and the 52-yard boot. Actually backs them all the way up to the 12. Didn't even know that was an option. I think Coach, I got my earbuds in over here, but by look on Coach's face I'm sharing the press box with, I think he would agree. Falcons lose two on the first play. And set up second down and 12. Give the officials a lot of grace, too. It's their first night of the season. Probably some new guys out here this year. No, an official shortage all across the state right now. And so if you've ever thought about, man, how could I be part of the action and be part of the game? I um, love football. I love our students, man. Being official would sure be beneficial to help keep games going. Oh, what a screen set up. Not well blocked, but it was there. Quay does a good job avoiding the pressure, dumping it off. It goes nowhere as Tommy Merriman catches the pass, gets back to the line of scrimmage. Third down and 12. Falcons love to set up a first down here. Quade's got to get rid of that ball. Oh, we got it. He did get across the line. Just because Quade's so big and strong, I apologize. Only unfortunate thing about my positioning is I do have a window in there and you, you couldn't see it. But, man, Quade, contact is made about two yards deep in the end zone. And Quade, see if I can move the camera over so I can get to this punt. Uh, Quay does a great job of putting his shoulder down, getting back to about the two, two and a half, just to give him a chance to punt this thing out. Didn't give away any points. Trust your defense. Bryson gets his foot into it. Obviously, a short stack there because he's not as deep as he'd really like to be. But for the first time tonight, we got a good snap. Going to be about a 21-yard punt. I'm going to set the Falcons defense out there looking to make another stop as West Plains first down on the Falcon 23-yard line. 2.19 to go here in the third quarter. Jet sweep. Not sure where the, we'll get a sub in. Uh-oh, Falcon went down over there. <laughs> Gotta love fans. I don't think that any JV kid is situationally aware enough to go down and fake an injury here. Falcons got some subs in there on that defensive drive. Quick back with as West Plains takes this thing inside the 10. It's going to be first down and goal. Good to see the Falcon up. I'll give you a number as soon as I can. Oh, that's Bryson. I can tell you Bryson Bryson ain't coming off the field unless he's injured. And so hopefully nothing too major. He looks to be walking on his own. Ball's handed off. Oh my goodness. Gonna spot him down just inside the one. Going to be a free play. Uh-oh. Come on, Parker. Get up, buddy. And on the free play, West Plains will convert it for a touchdown. Makes this a one-score game.
Kick is up, kick is good, and just like that. 20 to 14. Minute 36 to go here in the third quarter. side of the window here. Let me see if I can scoot that over. Alright, so West Plains. Kicker gets ready to put his foot into this one. Stout kicker, man. Opening kickoff of the game went through the end zone, in the air. Good kickers are a weapon, and West Plains has one here. We'll see our guys all the way back inside the five to receive. And Jenner will let that thing bounce into the end zone. So we'll set up at the 25-yard line. Is minute 36 to go in the third. Falcons look to put together a drive here to get this back to a two-score game. West Plains on, their last, on the last Falcon series came out, got a three and out. Forced a punt, got the short field, converted it for a touchdown. Everything your coach has asked you to do. Falcons hand the ball up the middle. Going to go for about a yard. Evan Rodriguez with the carry. Evan Rod, as Alex would say. Sets up second down and nine. Falcon offense really need to drive here. Give the defense a little bit of a breather. Oh, Evan with a nice move in the hole. Going to carry that thing for eight. Sets up third down and one. Oh, Evan comes up hobbling. Not a good sign there. Hopefully just to see what we do here. Probably quarterback power right. Oh, we'll hand it to Zane. Gonna be close. Not sure what they're celebrating. Looks like forward progress was marked down. Yeah, Falcons offense still out there. Defense got to come back. It, it was forward progress stopped, and it's first down. <laughs> and we will head to the fourth quarter, so we'll take a quick break. Let's just hear a quick message from one of our sponsors, and we will be right back. Procrete Construction is a regional concrete place and finish company designed from the ground up to give you solid professional service. 
Based in Amarillo, Procrete serves residential, commercial, and industrial construction industries. High standards of professionalism and quality are our benchmarks. We know your construction project requires a company that is equipped with the tools, knowledge, and experience to complete the work as promised with a focus on details. Call 806-318-3820 or go online to learn more about Procrete Construction at ProcreteNow.com. All right, we're back. Big shout out to Legacy Print Shop, who's our second half sponsor tonight. Thank you to Love It Chiropractic, who was our first half. Larry Marquez and his team at Procrete, just a fantastic sponsor. Excited to see his boy AJ out on the field tomorrow night. He'll be in the backfield and playing some linebacker. And so, there to end the third quarter, you had Zane Zundel fight for yardage, get just enough for the first down as his forward progress was stopped before the ball came out. And We'll start first down and 10 at the 35-yard line. 10 minutes to go here at West Plains. Falcons looking to put together a drive to put this game away. West Plains looking for a stop to get their offense back out on the field. Just penetration all over the right side of the offensive line. Ends up in a two... Could be three yard loss, second down and 12. Falcons taking their time, not in a hurry here. Oh my gosh. No excuse for that one. False start on the receiver down here. Adi just moving. Got, you're on the line. Look, watch down the ball. I mean, when you're on the outside. Second down and 17. Not the direction the Falcons needed to go there. Drop the middle, just more penetration from the West Plains D-line. Limits that to about half yard gain. Sets up fourth down, third down, third down and 16. Clock ticks under nine minutes. Gotta let Quaid do it with his arm here. You got Jenner down here towards us, twi twins to each side. You got Jenner number four down here in the slot. You like your chances with Jenner running a wrap. More pressure. Quay does a good job holding on to the ball. O line. West Plains D line won that scrimmage or won that series. Falcons do take about two minutes off the clock. Clock's going to tick down to eight minutes to, underneath eight minutes to go here. Good snap. Rice and a little end over end kick. Get a good bounce. Falcons do get a bounce. Going to kick down to about the, looks like it's going to be really close to the 30. Right at the 30s where they'll spot it. So West Plains defense gets their offense back to ball with 7.46 to go. Trailing by six, Falcon defense. Time to come out and make a stand. Colton and Kell heading to the sidelines. That's... Great tackle there by Tommy Merriman, because I'll tell you, it was him or a touchdown. Oh, 
Ball in the air behind the receiver. Ball short. Jenner with good coverage. Going to set up third down and nine. Clock stops with 7-11 to go. I pick it up a little bit, but not bad. Good route there by West Plains. Looks like, oh no, Jenner does a great job of ripping the ball out. I think Jenner thought that he might have had the interception, but the best part of that is it made it fourth down. A battle for the ball. Good route there by the West Plains receiver. Just great coverage by Jenner King. Don't drop, don't drop off. Play coverage. Play coverage. Wouldn't be shocked to see a fake here. Jenner's gonna come back up. We don't mind them kicking. Good friendly bounce. Oh, and then it becomes a Bushland friendly bounce. So it will take over at the 38 yard line as the defense makes a stop with 6.54 to go here in the fourth quarter. Coach Hooker giving me a secret to the press box. I should see a better picture now. Get the lights off in here. Falcons just need to go on a drive. Consume a few minutes. Punch one in. The West Plains D-line, you can tell they're fired up. They won the last series. It's a prideful Bushland bunch. Let's see if we can get it back here. Nope, not on first down at least. Kale's going to lower his head and push the pile. Ends up to about two yards, second down and eight. We've gone away from throwing the ball. Now we're back. Nice screen. Didn't get the block, but... <laughs> Now the center's working against us a little bit. So another two yard gain. Sets up third down and six for the Falcons. Clock ticking towards six minutes. West Plains jump, but didn't cross the line. Great route, great route. Oh, Gabe couldn't stay on his feet, but what a catch and throw down inside the five. Gabe using barely inside the five. Hey, we'll take it. First down and goal as Gabe turned on the Jets. Quaid found him. Great pickup in the backfield by Kel Conklin of the linebacker coming, which gave Quaid time to step up and step into that throw, and Gabe runs a great route. Ball just a little high over Jenner's head. Oh, Falcons going to get called for holding. Going to back him up to the 15. First and goal from the 15 now. Man, oh man. Bryson back on the field. So you got Bryson and Jenner down towards us. Looks like Tobler and Gabe up top. Gabe after making a fantastic catch. Almost kept his feet to score. That Ferris pass will get batted down. D-line.
struggling with West playing size and speed. Here's the thing. It, some of these boys are thick, but, man, they can flat move and really struggling right now against it. Sets up second down from the 15. Wouldn't be surprised to see a run here. No. But, golly. Oh, Quaid steps out of it. Does a great pass. Oh, he just overthrows Bryson. Tried to go around the window. I know you didn't see Bryson there, but Quaid somehow, I don't know how, kept his feet, kept the play alive. For a second, I thought he was going to shuffle the ball to Kel. Kel was rolling out in front of him. Went for it all. Threw it where only his guy could get it. Just a little tall for Bryson. We'll go third and goal from the 15. That one gets us about a nine-yard gain back to the seven. Kind of expect the Falcons to kick a field goal here. Like, bring your kicking unit out. It's, it's just a little longer than an extra point. Take the nine-point lead. We have a timeout, probably the Falcons. He hasn't motioned yet, but yep, there it is, on the, to the Falcons. A chance to go up two scores here with 4.59 on the clock. Does not look like the kicking unit those coming out. So we will go fourth down and goal from the seven. We are on the home side over here and you can hear the West Plains supporters back in their defense. We do bring the kicking unit out. I like the call. Get you a two score lead. Trust your defense. Great call by Coach Malden here. Let's convert this kick. Snap back, kick up, kick good. Oh, he killed, they caught it. I do not have a great angle, so I'm not about to argue with the official, but man, it looked good from up here. Man, a night when you miss Ty Tarango, who's kicking up on varsity. Excited for Ty, you know, we got the call up last year after Weston Forbes' unfortunate injury. A Western man in the in the midst of an all-state kicking season, tore his ACL. Ty got the call up from freshman. Um, one of those moments, man, you sure wish you had in there though. To... Woo, Jenner! Jenner did get beat, but here's what he did. He, he found a way to get him on the ground. And we live to fight another day. And with this defense, you like your chances. Jenner just a great throw, took a great throw. He only had Jenner by a step. But Jenner made sure that once he caught the ball, he got him on the ground. So as the clock ticks down to 424 to go, Oh, we got to finish those plays. We did a good job stretching it out, but we got to make that play in the backfield. First down at the 30.
Gonna come this way. Oh, looked like it was held. And a big hit down the sideline, but not before the West Plains Wolves take it inside the 10. First and goal at the seven. Plains fans on their feet. You know, we talked earlier, would that extra point that we missed come back to bite us? We've missed an extra point. We've missed a field goal. Now only up six. West Plains knocking first and goal. See if the Falcons can get a stop here. Quarterback keep around the end. Gain six, down to about the two. Maybe inside the two. See, those, looks like they'll spot it at the one. Maybe about the two, just inside the two. So second down and goal. Bryson Jimenez did a good job peeling back a big swipe on the ball. Quarterback did a great job of hanging on to it. Contact in the backfield. Battle. They're going to spot it down. Got some backside penetration there. Just enough to slow down the momentum. West Plains fans out here felt like they got in it. Might actually be a good thing. It's keeping the clock running. Going to limit the amount of time that if they score, the Falcons will have to come back. So third down and goal on about the six-inch line. Great backside penetration. A beautiful play there by Parker Lyles and then linebackers came in and lost a two. Great job compressing down the line. Now we've got fourth down. This is probably the ball game. West Plains has two timeouts, but if they don't score, Falcons can get really close to running in. Now they only have one timeout as they'll take a timeout to talk about it. So this is the ball game. Falcons get the stop. West Plains does not have enough timeouts to hold, the, hold them to uh, even stop. And if you're the Falcons, you like your odds. Because if you, if you told us... It's going to be fourth down and goal. You have your defense on the field with an opportunity to win the game. I think we'd have taken it at the beginning. Now, I'll tell you, West Plains has put together an impressive drive here. But the last two plays, they, since they got to the two, first down, a great run. It was first down and goal from about the eight. A great power run. Bryson peeled back, was able to get the quarterback to the ground before he scored. And then we've made two great stops here. They got down to about the six-inch line. Third down and goal from there. Parker shot over from the wheel spot behind the line, took him down, two yard loss. Here we are, fourth down from the two. <laughs> what a game, man. I'll tell you, two quality, quality teams. A lot of good football play tonight. Falcons. A chance to put it away if they can get a stop right here. Ooh, it looks like they may have a false start. Or the Falcons call a timeout. Falcons call a timeout. They got to look at the, the start of the play. 
see if Coach Bur does Burjeski call the plays for JP. So see if Burjeski changes the play call or if he sticks to it. He's got a lot of football experience underneath his belt, having played professional football as well. Used to play back in the day for the Emerald Benham as well. Heck of a football player in his own right. Heck of a track coach. Head JV football coach here at West Plains. See what he dials up here. Coach Pearson got the timeout. He's got his defense over there on about the 20 yard line. I'll tell you. These boys will be fired up when they get the stop, but so will Coach Pearson. So here we go. Fourth down and goal, minute 23 to go. Fourth quarter, Falcons up six, a chance to put it away with a defensive stop. So they're coming out in a different formation. They definitely called a different play. They're gonna hand it power, quarterback keep! And they score, game tied. We bit for the fake, quarterback walked into the end zone. Beautiful play call. Took advantage of the Falcons' aggressiveness. Kick up. Kick good. West Plains takes the 21-20 lead. Still a minute 19 to go for the Falcons, though. Looks like there may have been a penalty on the play. May have to re-kick it. Yeah, it's on the far side. Looks like a procedural. So let's take the point off. I'll tell you, it's a heck of a kicker. Leg will not be the problem. He'll set up. Basically, what's a 25-yard field goal? Up and good again. Minute 19 to go for the Falcons. Plenty of time for this Falcon offense. Man. You think back to just a few plays. If Gabe Hahn could have kept his feet going into the end zone, a beautiful pass, took us inside the five. We miss a field goal. We missed an extra point early. Special teams, the not converting points. We've left four points on the field tonight in kicking. But the good news is 79 seconds to go. Falcons getting the ball with an opportunity to get down the field and win the game. Kick is up. Kick's gonna go to Jenner. He's gonna have a shot at the 17. Not much blocking. Only gets up to the 22. So here we go, 78 yards to go.
I'll tell you this, West Plains D-line has been menaces the last 15 minutes of clock time. See if we can get Quade some pressure. And then West Plains will take their last timeout. All right, 74 seconds for Quaid and company to get down the field. You got two guys that can absolutely take the top of it off the defense in Quaid and Jenner. We'll see if West Plains stays in their defense because I'll tell you their defense in the second half has been pretty stout minus the first two drives. Their D-line's been getting at it. Do they drop in coverage, try to play too deep and play it safe, or do they come after the Falcons? Because it looks like they're going to drop into coverage. It's always interesting when you do this because you give them an opportunity to move down the field a little bit. Oh, just a little out of reach of Tobler coming across. He's got to get up that field just a little bit faster. Wade stepped up, had the right read. We got Bryson and Jenner down low. Give him some time. No! That's ball game, folks. West Plains with the interception. That's ball game. So, a lot of things the Falcons will watch this film back and regret. Left some points out there on special teams. A lot of just shooting themselves in the foot in the first half. Got a little conservative with the offense and after we got a 13 point lead, a lot of, a lot of opportunity, but man, you gotta give a lot of credit to West Plains. They battled through, they got, they made plays when they needed to. Fourth down and two, an opportunity. Who, won, who was gonna win it? And a great play, play call, quarterback keep on the zone read. I'm not sure if it was designed that way or if that was the read by the quarterback, but it was the perfect call to take advantage of the Falcons' aggressiveness. And they will take one more knee, and that's a game. Congratulations to the West Plains Wolves, the 21-20 victors tonight. It's the Falcons. Take their, as they move up to, as this sophomore class moves up to JV, take their first loss of the year here at West Plains. As they let this one slip away. 21-20. Congratulations, West Plains. A lot to be excited about. They beat a heck of a squad over there tonight. But we will see you tomorrow night as Varsity West Plains comes to Falcon Stadium for what's going to be a slugfest. So make sure to tune in. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Alex, buddy, hope you're doing